Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today I want to talk about a couple of drones in particular, but also over a recap quickly on the CES, what's going on there, obviously for you lucky Americans that have been to it. So obviously the Autel Evo 2 seem to be starting the show and the specs on that thing are just tremendous. That does look an amazing drone and something DJI are going to have to respond to in my opinion. They won't let that lie, surely they'll respond to that. Uh, the X-Dynamics Evolve 2. I don't know if it's called Evolve 2, I don't know. Uh, that came out with slightly different look to the drone, removable cameras, crazy price point of three and a half thousand dollars. To me that, again, they'll price themselves out of the market, regardless of what the drone can do, because will it be that good? Mm, not sure about that. For me, it's a no-no. Certainly that price I wouldn't even entertain it. But I wanted to be able to talk about two drones today. One is the V-Copter, and the other being the Power Egg X, which were two smaller companies, one being Zero, Zero, and the other people being Power Vision. So, playing in one of these corners, you're gonna see some promo videos for both of them drones, one after another. So I wanna talk about the Power Egg first. So the Power Egg X, it's called. So if you watch my channel, you'll know I've already reviewed a Power Egg, which was quite, was quite a big size drone with full down arms, looked like an egg, obviously. Um, bit finicky to set up, it's big, it's bulky, and it weighs a lot. So, it's not for everybody that drone, but I got really nice results out of it because of the way it flies and because you get no legs in shots, you can fly and revolve and you can revolve your camera and fly at the same time, which gives you some really nice cinematic footage. But it's not for everybody, I know that, because the way it's got to be set up and everything else. But they've now released a Power Egg X, uh, which is the craziest looking drone I think I've ever seen. Um, but one with the potential that could be amazing. When it does come out, I will be getting one of them. I say when it comes out, it's already out, but uh, when I can get it easily in the UK and obviously get Christmas out of the way and everything else we've just had, I will look to get one of them. So as you can see probably from the video that's running, it's a smaller version of the Power Egg, much smaller, and it's got very weird features. One being that it's got no arms on it at all. It just comes looking like an egg. You can put a strap on the side and use it as a handheld camera. You can put it on a tripod and have it, and the reason for that is it has full tracking, so you can put a box round and then it'll follow your subject, it'll move around, the gimbal will move around to follow them, and also, obviously, you can hold it in your hand and use it like the old-fashioned camcorders. You can then plug the arms in, and you get a fully-fledged drone. It's quite a big drone when you've done that to it. Uh, the few people got them, a couple, one person that seems to have them in the UK, but he just shows footage of it flying, but there's another uh, video if you search for it with the video footage from the sky and it looks good um, The proof will be the pudding when you see more videos, but it's $899 I believe for that kit or you can pay extra and Get the kit which comes with the uh, floats and the full body shell that goes over the top because it is waterproof So you can fly this thing and land it on lakes and such forth but that kit's more, I think that kit's, I don't know, $12.99 is what's in my head. Might be wrong, it might be more than that. But that's what is in the top of my head. So, because I love the Power Egg so much and the potential of the Power Egg, I probably will, I'll look to have a go at this. Power Vision seem to make decent enough stuff. They do the Power Ray, they tend to do underwater stuff like the Power Ray and stuff like that. If you check out the site, they've got an EU site. So if you're in the UK, you can buy it easier from the EU site and get it delivered free of charge. At the minute, it's not available in the EU. It's only available in the US sites, I believe, at $899. I'm presuming it's going to come at £899 when it is available in the EU because we seem to pay the same price as a dollar. So, that's what I wanted to talk about. I really do like the look of it. And the other one is the V-Copter. Now, this is the one that... I don't know, I, I love the idea, and if this thing works like they're saying it's gonna work, let me, I'm just looking at some notes here, so you have to bear with me. If this thing does work, like they say it's gonna work, it's gonna be truly amazing. I know Brian has bought one um, from TDR Jones, I know he pre-ordered one. So this thing's coming in at $999, it has two arms so all it's got is two motors and the motors the video playing up in the top but the vid the motors spin round so as the arms rise up on the drone these motors spin out but that's one of my worries this is a lot of engineering going on so you've got a lot of gearing going on in there and motors obviously to drive the arms at one end and the other and obviously the gears to do that and to get them right you're only running on two motors with quite large props, obviously. They're folding, and the drone looks amazing, do not get me wrong, but I haven't seen no flight footage yet. I've just seen it hovering in CES. 
I'd want to see more. I'm praying that Brian gets here so I can watch his review because I trust Brian's opinion on it. But it looks absolutely amazing. It's got a one over two thirds camera. It does 4K 30 frames per second, but its biggest selling point is 50 minutes flight time. Which is a massive thing. It's running on the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. The processor is decent inside it. Now, this is the little bit of an issue I have. Zero Zero made the hover drone, or the passport drone as it's called in various places, which is a folding open drone like that in a cage with a camera on the top. It was truly hideous. I had, I had one and tried it out, did not like it in the slightest. And it's formed some clones of that. You can see some clones flying out. Sim 2 made one, which was equally, well, was worse. Uh, so... And it was quite expensive, this passport drone. It, I think it was 500 or 600 quid in the UK for it, but no, I did not rate that drone at all. Some people might have liked it. It was uh, designed to follow you. It was a follow me drone. It was one of them that didn't have a controller. You flew it with your, cam with your phone, camera. You flew it with your phone. So it had none of that. And this thing looks totally different. Do not get me wrong. This thing looks a mile away from that. But because of what they produced before on the camera, when it was awful, um, that's my worry, that's the only worry with this drone and the fact that no one's actually done it. That the first people to make a bicopter, obviously, everything's easier when you use four quads. If you've ever flown a tricopter, until you get one set up absolutely spot on, they're a bit of a pain, which is why I won't ever build another one. I built one before and it was just so hard to get it to fly. And then I didn't really fly much after which I didn't really enjoy it anyway. So to get one to make it with a bicopter to work like a, a helicopter would work, a twin motor helicopter, is going to be difficult. But that's why they're managing to get such long flight times. Because obviously you're only powering two motors. It's much more efficient to run two motors than it is four, obviously. Four gives you greater stability. So my only worry would be how stable is this thing? It's got GPS and all the rest of it. It looks like that front forward sensors and all the rest. It's got a lot of kit going on and it does look great value for the money. Let me look at my notes again. It's finally getting old and you can't remember everything you know. Um, they're looking at a February shipping date according to what the internet's telling me, but um, because of the fact I didn't see, you didn't see that much about it on CES, I'd be actually probably, I'd imagine that's more like going to be March. But certainly this thing looks amazing. It can do 2.7k at 60 or 1080 at 120 frames a second. When it comes to 8 gig of onboard storage, or people say, a lot of people don't seem to bother about it. I love the fact of onboard storage. If you get your SD card and it's easily done, at least you've got 8 gig to play with. If you're recording 4k 60, that's not going to last you very long. But if you're recording in 2.7k, that's it's a good get out of jail card. So I do like that. And obviously the fact it's got two boats is going to make it quite a bit lighter. So they were the main things I want to talk about. These two drones, these two drones excite me. It's an exciting time of the year with the Autel coming out. And that does look absolutely amazing. I'm more excited to see what the response is going to be from DJI. They're surely not going to let that go with the fact that they've got 8K, 6K um, variants, which are... Uh, I've got a very fast computer. It, it, it's a proper gaming machine so I've got a really fast processor and really fast graphic and twin graphic cards in it and 4k can sometimes take a lot to do 8k and try and oh, do the edit that would just be an absolute nightmare I don't think even my computer would handle it very well it'd still slow it down so that for me would be an issue but it wouldn't put me off buying the drone the drone looks absolutely amazing so we've got the Xeno 2 now I don't know if it's I don't know when you're watching this video so I don't know if anybody's got it in their hands yet no one has one despite what someone might tell you on YouTube that they've got it and they're showing videos of it flying it really is not that drone so no one's got it yet no one's got it in their hands as we speak so I can't really tell you any more about it but the shipping I know from um, reading forums and quick look on Facebook that people have had their ship so it's been shipped to them from Gearbest probably going to take 14 to 21 days so people should have it in their hand at some point in early Feb I'd imagine maybe early Feb we're going to see the first videos of it all the people that get sent it to review first uh, uh, which I know that um various people have got that the QC guy's got it coming for and I know that one from watching his video has got one and he also said the RC sailors you can tell that we pinch it all whether you want to review or not and Captain Drone 
But I'd, I would stick to QC guys' review on that. If you're lucky, don't worry, you're still unsure. Wait for his review. He'll give you a good review. Very, very, very in-depth. The guy's great, so watch his review when it comes out. So that's shipping. It's a very exciting time in the drone industry. For me, from an FPV point of view, I love FPV, as you know as well. This massive uh, forward, this massive thing moving forward is that we've got digital now, obviously, and stuff like that. And DJI are making updates all the time for that, so I'm very excited about the future for that as well. So, if you went to see Yes, you lucky Americans, I hope you did enjoy it. Um, thanks ever so much for watching, listening to me ramble again, and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.